welcome back to our youtube channel maths balakrishna sir okay in last video i am explaining exercise 1.1 class 8th class ncert syllabus it is newly uh, introduced in ap andhra pradesh okay chapter 1 lesson number exercise 1.2 okay represent these numbers on the number line in exercise 1.2 represent the numbers on the number line number line means what the digits are the numbers which are represent on a line with equal distance that is called number line here they given the numbers the first one is 7 by 4 7 by 4 means what 7 is out of 4 okay out of 4 here numerator is 7 denominator is 4 that means we can represent this 7 by 4 we want two numbers okay each number having same length okay same distance here 0 is 1 it is 2 okay this number is dividing to 4 parts and this number is also dividing to 4 parts 1 2 3 1 2 3 here in this 4 parts what the value of 1 part 1 by 4 next 2 by 4 next 3 by 4 next it is 4 by 4 4 by 4 in nothing but how much 1 next here next it is 5 by 4 next 6 by 4 next 7 by 4 they asking that represent 7 by 4 on the number line okay this one 8 we can write as 8 by 4 8 by 4 is how much 2 so 7 by 4 it is a improper fraction okay the value of improper fraction is always greater than 1 so here we take that two numbers so 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 0 to 1 how much distance we take the same the distance we take that 1 to 2 so 0 to 1 we can divide in four parts each part is how much 1 by 4 okay so it is 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 4 by 4 next 5 by 4 6 by 4 7 by 4 it is 8 by 4 okay so next minus 5 by 6 minus 5 by 6 it is a negative rational number it is negative rational number okay this negative rational numbers are left side of the zero okay here 5 by 6 it is a proper fraction Okay, its values is less than 1 here numerator is smaller than the denominator denominator means what a part is dividing to equal pieces that equal pieces of number is called denominator numerator means what the selecting part okay here minus 5 by 6 here 0 minus 1 minus 2 0 to minus 1 we can divide into how many parts 6 parts Okay, so that is here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is here minus 1 by 6, minus 2 by 6, minus 3 by 6, minus 4 by 6, minus 5 by 6, minus 6 by 6. Okay, minus 6 by 6 is nothing but how much? Minus 1. So they are asking that represent minus 5 by 6. So the, this fraction is lies in only one number represent minus 2 by 11 minus 5 by 11 minus 9 by 11 on the number line here observe these numbers its denominator is how much 11 that means the number is dividing on parts 11 parts so here 0 these all numbers are negative so 0 to minus 1 again dividing to 11 parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it is minus 1 by 11 minus 2 by 11 minus 3 by 11 minus 3 4 by 11 minus 5 by 11 minus 6 by 11 minus 7 by 11 minus 8 by 11 minus 9 by 11 minus 10 by 11 next minus 11 by 11 minus 11 by 11 is nothing but how much minus 1 so they here they asking that represent minus 2 by 11 minus 5 by 11 minus 9 by 11 so 2 by 11 means 2 out of 11 parts 5 by 11 5 out of 11 parts 9 by 11 9 out of 11 parts so here they are asking that represent this minus 2 by 11 next minus 5 by 11 next minus 9 by 11 this is the way to represent the numbers on number line next third one write 5 rational numbers which are smaller than 2 okay below 2 represent write Five rational numbers. So below two, here take that zero, 
one two i can dividing to uh, three parts one two i can dividing to two parts okay three parts so it is one by three two by three three by three four by three five by three so how many rational numbers they ask in that write five rational numbers which are less than two okay here i can dividing three parts we can dividing four parts or we can dividing five parts okay or we can write as like less than two means here minus one by six minus two by six minus three by six we can write any rational numbers less than two okay so here i can write the less than two rational numbers are one by three two by three three by three four by three five by three find 10 rational numbers between minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2 okay how we can find the 10 rational numbers okay here they given the fractions okay here how we can do that first make the denominators are equal here the given numbers given numbers are minus 2 by 5 and 1 by 2 here take the denominator lcm lcm of 5 and 2 here the 5 and 2 are co primes so the lcm of co primes is product of co primes that is equal 5 into 2 that is equal 10 so here minus 2 by 5 its the denominator is 5 we make the denominator is 10 that means which number you can multiply 2 okay minus 2 by 5 5 is multiplied to 2 then the fraction is become its denominator is become 10 so when your numerator is denominator is multiplied the numerator is also multiplied with 2 okay 2 2 ja 4 minus 4 next here 1 by 5 1 by 2 it's a denominator also make the denominator as 10 that means the 1 by 2 fraction is multiplied with 5 by 5 1 5 ja 5 2 5 ja 10 so now between minus 4 by 10 and 5 by 10 how many rational numbers are there okay between minus 4 by 10 and 5 by 10 or minus 3 by 10 minus 2 by 10 minus 1 by 10 0 by 10 1 by 10 2 by 10 3 by 10 next 4 by 10 how many rational numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so 8 rational numbers so here the denominator is 10 okay or we make we can make the equal denominators we can multiply any number for suppose we can multiply 3 by 3 here 3 by 3 okay that is 4 3 ja 12 by 30 5 3 ja 15 by 30 like this we can get number of rational numbers okay next find 5 rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 4 by 3 okay here they did not ask the method here there is two methods are there what are the two methods one is denominators are equal another one is mean method mean method mean, means what a rational number between a and b is a plus b by 2 okay so mean means what sum of observations by number of observations so here the given fraction 2 by 3 and 4 by 5 so denominator lcm lcm of 3 and 5 is 15 y 3 5 ja 15 3 and 5 are both are co primes co primes means what their scf is 1 scf means what highest common factor between any two numbers is 1 that numbers are called co primes so here lcm of 3 and 5 3 and 5 there is no common factor these two are co primes so lcm of 3 and 5 is 15 so here 2 by 3 it's a denominator you can write as 15 that means the 2 by 3 is multiplied with 5 denominator 5 denominator is 5 2 5 ja 10 10 by 15 next 4 by 5 so here the fraction will make the denominator as 15 that means we can multiply with 3 so 3 by 3 4 3 ja 12 5 3 ja 15 so between 10 by 15 and 12 by 15 what is the rest number only one rest number that is 11 by 15 so but they, here they asking that find five rational numbers so that means we make another we make the equal denominator with the same number multiplication room first fraction first number and second number here i can multiply with three here multiply with three okay 10 3 ja 30 15 3 ja 45 12 3 ja 36 15 3 ja 45 between these two numbers 
what are the five rational numbers here 31 by 45 next 32 by 45 next 33 by 45 next 34 by 45 next 35 by 45 how many rational numbers are there five rational numbers okay like this we can write as number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers the number of rational numbers are infinity okay we can divide in five parts we can get five ten parts ten hundred hundred thousand thousand like that we can get infinity rational numbers okay for suppose you can find a rational number one rational number the formula is a plus b by 2 a plus b by 2 so that method is called mean or average or arithmetic mean so mean means sum of observation by number of observation here how many numbers are there two numbers okay here a and b a plus b by 2 minus 3 by 2 and 5 by 3 here denominator lcm here 2 and 3 are co primes so lcm of 2 and 3 is 2 into 3 that is equal 6 here minus 3 by 2 its denominator you can write as 6 you can multiply it 3 so numerator is multiply 3 denominator is multiply 3 3 3 ja 9 okay 2 3 ja 6 next 5 by 3 so its denominator you can write as 6 that means this number we can multiply to 2 okay 5 2 ja 10 3 2 ja 6 between these two numbers what are the rational numbers are minus 8 by 6 minus 1 by 6 minus 6 by 6 minus 5 by 6 minus 4 by 6 minus 3 by 6 minus 2 by 6 minus 1 by 6 0 by 6 1 by 6 okay and so on 9 by 6 <coughs> 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 so here denominator lcm 4 and 2 in this 4 and 2 4 is highest multiple of 2 okay so here 2 4 2 1 ja 2 2 ja 2 into 2 that is 4 so 1 by 4 it's the denominator we can write as 4 means we can multiply 1 okay 1 1 ja 1 4 1 ja 4 next 1 by 2 here it's denominator we can write as 4 means we can multiply to 2 okay 1 2 ja 2 2 2 ja 4 so between 1 by 4 and 2 by 4 there is no rational number so we can multiply with any another number 5 5 5 by 5 okay 1 5 ja 5 4 5 ja 20 2 5 ja 10 4 5 ja 20 how many rational numbers are there 6 by 20 7 by 20 8 by 20 9 by 20 okay here they are asking that five rational numbers that means you can multiply again uh, 3 so 5 3 ja 15 23 ja 16 10 3 ja 30 23 ja 16 between these two numbers, how many rational numbers are there? 16 by 60, 17 by 60, 18 by 60, 19 by 60, and so on, 29 by 60. So, this is the way to find the rational numbers between any two rational numbers. Write five rational numbers greater than minus 2. Okay, here, minus 2, <coughs> 0, minus 1, minus 2. So these all are greater than 2, greater than minus 2. So here we can dividing, how many rational numbers are asking that 5. So here I can dividing 3 parts, 4 parts, okay. So it is minus 1 by 4, next minus 2 by 4, minus 3 by 4, minus 4 by 4, minus 5 by 4, minus 6 by 4, minus 7 by 4, it is minus 8 by 4. So these all are greater than 2. Okay, write 5 rational numbers greater than minus 2. We can write as infinity rational numbers. Okay, but they are asking that find 5 rational numbers. So here, which number is, which negative integer is nearest to 0? That is the biggest one. Okay, so these all are 5 rational numbers greater than minus 2. <coughs> find 10 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 3 by 4. Now take that denominator LCM. LCM of 5 and 4. 5 and 4 co primes. So the LCM of co primes is product of co primes that is 5 into 4 that is equal to 20. Okay, here 3 by 5. So its denominator we can write as 20. That means 5 here. 5 is multiplied. Which number you can get as 20? That is 4. 
Numerator is also multiplied with 4. So 3 4 is 12. Next 3 by 4. So that is 3 by 4. Which number you can multiply you can get as 25 by 5. 3 5 is 15. 4 5 is 20. Okay, between these two, how many rational numbers are there? 13 by 14, 13 by 20, 14 by 20. But they ask that 10. So here we can multiply it 3 by 3. We can take any number. Okay. So here 12 3 ja 36. 23 ja 60. 15 3 ja 45. 23 ja 60. Here between these two, how many rational numbers are there? 13 by 37 by 60. 38 by 60. 39 by 60. 40 by 60. 41 by 60, 42 by 60, 44 by 60. How many rational numbers are there? 8. So, for suppose we can multiply again 36 by 60 into 2 by 2. So, next 45, 45 by 60, 45 by 60 into 2 by 2. So, that is here 36 to 72 by 60, no, 120. Next 90 by 120. Between these two, how many rational numbers are there? 10 rational numbers. Subscribe my channel, click on the bell icon, like and comment.